Good morning, Modern Setters. It's 45 degrees outside this morning. I'm curious to see what the temp is inside the greenhouse this morning. Ooh, it's nice and a little foggy in here. I like that. Let's see. Ah, it is only 40 degrees, 42 degrees in the greenhouse. That was sent up by a viewer. And we have a digital one sent up that we can use remotely in here and see it on our phone. I gotta do some reading to get that one figured out how it works, but it's nice to be able to see the temperature in here. The sun is just starting to peak in here, so it should warm up pretty quickly. I wasn't expecting it to get this cold last night. I was surprised when I saw it was in the 40s. I'll keep it closed up for a little while. When that sun comes up higher, we'll have to open everything up. What are you doing, Tanner? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, Wigglebutt? Good morning, sir. Where'd Pluto go, huh? She over here by the meat birds? She is. I've seen a few comments about the meat birds being in a small pen. They have they have a more they have more than enough room in here for them to exercise. And people are saying they see out free ranging. We keep them in these pens so they don't get attacked by predators. These birds are not very smart. And they're not very active. They've been raised to put meat on and put meat on fast. Keep them in the tractors, we can move them to fresh grass every day, two times a day if needed, and they love it. They get fresh grass to eat, they get fresh bedding, and then they leave behind us a nice soiled, manured area. For the first couple of weeks, we have them we can feed in front of the meat birds 24-7. And then once they get older, we feed them during the day. Otherwise, they would eat too much and they would end up eating themselves to death. So we're going to ration their feed till first thing in the morning. They're hungry. Good morning, you beat me down here. Slow poke yourself. I guess so. It's gonna be nice out? It's gonna be in the 60s today. The sun feels good. Yeah. You wanna smell alfalfa? I'm holding back your milk. You have to keep your head in the... There you go. It's not very cold. Good morning, girls. Ready for breakfast? Come on. There you go, Hope. You want your own side? There you go. Not sure if it's gonna show up on camera, but this part of the pasture grows so much better grass. And then over here, it's so spotty and short, but it's so thick right in this area. I'm gonna have to come in here and mow. You won't want to let the babies out until the grass dries. It's pretty wet this morning. Okay. Her coat's looking good. Nice and, nice and shiny. 
Good morning, little goat. You want to come out? I know, you're looking for Olivia. You want Mama Nora? Come here. I'm going to put you over. Ready? There you go. There's Mom. There you go, Nora. Does that make you happy, Willow? Good morning, piggies. One of my favorite animals to see every morning. They're always excited to see us, huh? Whenever you hear us, you're always running and snorting. I got a treat for you ladies later on. I'll have to bring it down here for you. You're gonna love me for it. You peeps ready? Take that as a yep, rush hour. They all want out at the same time. Rusty. They're looking for the grain. You guys hungry? Rusty doesn't like sharing his food. I try to spread it out as much as I can so all the chicks can get a chance to grab some. The meat birds are doing so good. So far we've lost one chick and that was the first night. Since then we haven't lost any more. They're doing good on their feed. We'll get them some more and then I gotta get them some more water and apple cider vinegar. You guys have already done a huge number on that compost pile. Look at that thing. Let's get closer to it. They're going to town on that. That's what we want to see. Ready? They're gonna have that turned in no time for us. And we'll have to go back in there, put it back in a pile, and let them do it all over again. The compost that the chickens make out of that pile for us, we're gonna spread on this pasture in the bare spots. So I'm excited to see how that does for the pasture this year. Do you know you're wearing the same sweatshirt as me again today? Stop, would you stop wearing the same stuff as me? It must be because that's the cleanest thing in the pile. Must be. Look what I just saw. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Guess the egg of pigs have some eggs to eat. Yeah, the pigs will get that later on. Here, let me go do that right now. Mm. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I just saw that when I just So before they were laying the eggs in the hay bales, they must have been laying them over here. Well, I'm not eating these. No, those are old, really old. How's that figure out? We were wondering why our egg production was down, huh? Huh? I don't know, I just caught my eye. That's funny. Hey. You gotta be fast. They want some food. I'm not fast. I don't wanna get left to You gotta just crack one, then you'll figure out what it is. It'd give you a good complexion. They're drinking them. I don't Yum. Smell any rotten. Yeah. So it's been two hours since we've been in the greenhouse. I'm curious to see what the temperature is now and how warm it is in here. We're going to probably start opening up the sides. 
Oh yeah, look at this. So it's 60 degrees outside right now. And it is 98, 100 degrees in here. So perfect temperature. I've been trying to keep it in the greenhouse around 80 to 100. 100 is perfect for the tomatoes. They're loving it. Look at them. They're getting so thick and green. Man, zucchinis, cucumbers. We're gonna start trellising a lot of the stuff soon. There's so much going on in the homestead right now. It's like, what project are we doing today? Which one needs to get done first? Just keep the end doors open for now. We'll see if that cools it off enough or if we gotta open up one wall. That's what I had to do the other days. I had to just keep it wall open and it would keep a nice breeze in here and keep it below 100. We built these low tunnels, hinged cold frames. We built them so we could start our lettuce, spinach, and kale. And over here, I plan to start in our broccoli and cabbage over here. But while we were building the greenhouse, it came apparent we needed a little nursery to keep all of our seed starts in. And that's what we use this one for. So we don't have anything growing in here yet. I filled it up with more compost yesterday. And then today we got a plant in it. But it's too warm right now to have it a greenhouse. So we're going to take our greenhouse plastic off. We're going to put on a bug cover to keep the bugs off of our broccoli and our cabbage. That's going to come in really handy. So instead of using the wood strips to hold our poly on or our bug netting, I thought let's try screwing a piece of PVC down here and then we'll clip some more of our clips to it to hold everything on. So I'm going to pre-drill the holes and then we'll screw them in place. I'm using pocket hole screws because they're what I have that have a flat head. I don't want to use a deck screw. I'm afraid if I do because they have a a cone edge on them that they'll try to drill in and crack our PVC pipe. So I'm going to take our clips and see if they fit on. They do, look at that, that'll be perfect. So we won't have to worry about screwing our board on and off, we can just put it over and clamp it in place. I like that. I'll link these clamps in the video description down below, I got them on Amazon. They have all different sizes for different PVC pipes. It's gonna be nice if this works because it'll be easy to switch from the greenhouse plastic to bug netting depending on what you're growing for crop or if you want to start something in here and then it gets too hot with the greenhouse plastic on to be able to just take it off without having to unscrew it and have holes in your plastic. We're gonna plant everything in here first and then we'll put our bug netting on. So first, we're gonna stop planting in here. We got cabbage, and then we have broccoli. I didn't start until the other day, cauliflower. So I'll plant that after. We got a little bit of celery, and then in between, I'm gonna plant the beet stars that we have going already. We're also gonna plant some sage in here. And the sage is companion planting to keep the cabbage moss away. Right. I'm just digging a little hole. Pull me out my best looking one. Look at those pretty things. Aunt, ain't that pretty? Bam. That's a nice looking broccoli plant you're going after there. Just Look at that thing.
back, I can't touch my shoes. It's pretty warm in the sun. Now, if you're wearing the same t-shirt I'm wearing, then I'll know you've been cooking. All this cabbage grows. We're going to get a recipe for canning sauerkraut and canning coleslaw. Sounds good to me. So if you have a recipe on how to can cabbage for coleslaw, sauerkraut, or anything like that, send it to us in an email because we're going to need it. Are you ready, dear? Oh, we must be sure. There's no turning back once we're out the door. Leave your message here on the telephone because we've no idea when we're coming home. They say you're a real gardener if you're able to start and grow your own celery. We've never had luck before, but this year we started some from seed and it's looking good so far. So we'll see how we do. See if you're a real gardener. See if we're a real gardener this year. It's got some good roots. It does. Them's, them's are doing good. Is that English? <laughs> no. Yeah. Them's are doing good. Tastes like celery. Did we eat them? Yeah. Now you're gonna try it? Now you maybe wanna try it. It's delicious, I'm telling you. Just bite a leaf. One leaf. I think I need more than one leaf. Yeah, it tastes like celery. <laughs> it does taste just like celery, don't it? Why do we need celery if we just do that? That's how we're gonna probably do this year. We'll save all the leaves, dehydrate them and... If they don't grow, you mean? Yeah. We can dehydrate the leaves and put them in our soups this winter and so stews. In these soil blocks, we have some golden beets that we had started. I'm gonna plant those in here somewhere. Sage has been one of the hardest plants and seeds for us to get this year. We finally found some. We have seeds ordered, but they haven't shown up yet, so I ended up buying it already started. We want to use it for our sausage, dry yeah. it and use it in our sausage. We use we a do. lot of sage for our breakfast sausage. took the plastic off this low tunnel because when you have them open and lying down here and it rains it's just a rainwater collection system and then it's a mess so we got our plastic off and while I was doing that look at the wasp nest I found we need to take care of that oh, we don't want to be getting stung no Ew. There, in it? there was eggs in it yeah. both sides to get your spinach and lettuce mm -hmm. and kale and some of this is already going to flower. Because I can't reach it. But we can save those seeds and we'll have our own spinach seeds. If we were going to just take this off and store it, but we don't really have any extra storage space. So we decided to take the plastic off and right. that will work. Yep. Instead of taking the whole hinge part off, we're just going to store the plastic, roll it up, and put it away. Yep.
That grass was pretty thick. Yeah, it was. Someday our whole pasture will be nice lush and green as this one area is. Huh, are you ladies getting this pasture ready for a cow? All the grass that you didn't eat, the cow would have loved it, huh? And then whatever the cow don't want, you would eat. Right, Blossom? You ladies are doing a good job helping us restore this pasture. Hope's dropping some nice manure on it for us. Willow's dropping some nitrogen. Oh, Nora's cooking now. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Nora. So, what do you think we put like the middle feeder like right here? That'll be a good height as long Just as Just the black ones yep. and then put a flop over that because the other ones didn't last very long. No. That was a... They destroyed the mineral feeders we just put up for them. They had the rubber flap just pulled off and what? And it was full of water. A day? Uh, or two days? Totally ripped off in two days. They do have minerals in the barn, but I want them to have it available outside. Hopefully it's bad already. Just for indoor use. Try it out. Where'd she go? Come here. Come here. That's probably good, huh? I think it's good, and they won't be able to poop in it if it's under there. As easy. I'll just have to bring it in a scoop. Put your head in there. Is that the right height, Willow? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just take it closer to this way. Yeah, that that's works. perfect. Okay, she can likes you move? It. Yeah. Can you move? Little Pete's gonna check it out for you now too. That's a perfect height, but I just need to be able to get the screw in. Here comes. No, the here comes Nora. I was like, I hear more Okay, moves. now I don't know where the her perfect height was. Come what on. do you think, Nora? <laughs> what is going on? You can't do nothing with goats around. Nope, you can't. Excuse me. Nora says, I'll come try it out. <laughs> you want to try it out now? And of course, they like the fresh mode stuff. Girls want to try out the mineral feeder? You're too busy eating some nice fresh grass. We got one taker. You like that blossom? She must. Oh, she went to the baking I knew I made this building for a reason. It's a goat mineral feeder. It's a goat stop to get their minerals. Is that, Is that good? good? Huh? She's not leaving. Must be. There's nothing in there. It's in there. I got a couple pieces of lodge cast iron. I got this double handled one that I said I wanted to get. And I got the griddle because I do not like my electric griddle, so I want to try this. So Al's gonna he's gonna sand these down and because they have a rough coat. Um, and re-season them. He's gonna do that. We also wanted to try to do like muffins on the on the grill So I wanted to get the cast iron muffin pan, but they were all sold out And then I was looking further and they have a biscuit one So I'm gonna try to use that for muffins, but tonight I'm going to try to use that um, I saw a lot of reviews of people did meatloaf and a bunch of different things in there So I'm gonna do meatloaf it is now on the grill preheating, um, so I will show that to you when I go and put these potatoes out there. I have been wanting to get into cooking with cast iron, but it's a little intimidating to me. Uh, I have been using the Dutch oven a few times and kind of doing some research, and um, so that's why I got these pieces. And we do have the pizza pan too, or the baking sheet, and that we really like that. Head out and put these potatoes on the grill, and I'll show you that pan. You're catching a fish? Practicing. Yeah. I stuck it up there to preheat. That is the biscuit pan. A viewer sent these. I'm going to 
try it out to move this down. Or do you think I should leave it up to long? I don't know. Let's see if I can these work. This is the best it can. I'm just gonna leave it up there. Now you gotta to use it. My hands didn't get hot. I'm just gonna get this meatloaf whipped up real quickly and then I'll go get the pan and get it all together. Maybe that's too big. I have the pellet grill at 375 and I just keep a close eye on this. All right, Olivia, will you get the door? Yeah. These. Thank you for these gloves. We will see how that goes. You need to clean your mess up out here. You left me after building the greenhouse. <laughs> I've been trying to pick up your mess. I don't know, my potatoes look very cold. Olivia requested some zucchini. Well, I've been grilled up like this last time. I should have paid attention because I have it a little hotter than normal. Olivia, they're done. What? They're done already? way faster than I thought so next time I would probably do a 350 instead of 375 and it is smaller portions so it kind of makes sense don't give up this rest for your weary. the meatloaf in the little cast iron pan on the pellet grill came out amazing we want to try cooking a lot more stuff on the pellet grill this summer when it's nice and warm out so we don't have to heat up the house and we want to try baking it and it's one of the things we got that little cast iron pot or pan for i guess you call it for the muffins is if you want to make a baked good we can try cooking it out there in the pellet grill we're excited to try that and excited to keep the house a little bit cooler in the summer do you guys do a lot of grilling on your grill outside or what are some things you do in the summertime for cooking to keep the heat out of your house Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.